Hey there, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to create amazing GUI applications with Python using tkinter. It's simple, beginner friendly, and a lot of fun. By the end of this video, you'll have your first interactive app ready to go. Let's dive right in and bring your ideas to life. First, we need to import the tkinter library, which is the toolkit that allows us to create graphical user interfaces in Python. By importing tkinter, we can access all the tools and widgets it offers to build our app, like windows, buttons, and labels. Think of it like unlocking a toolbox to start building your application. Next, we create the main window for our application. This window is where all the content of your app will be displayed, such as buttons, labels, and other widgets. Without creating this window, there would be no space to interact with. It's essentially the canvas on which you will paint your app. After that, we give the window a title. The title appears at the top of the window, providing a name for your app. It's an easy way to label your app, so when the user opens it, they can immediately recognize what it's called. You can name it anything you like. My first app is just an example. Once the window is set up, we adjust its size. This is done by specifying the window's width and height in pixels. The size 400 by 200 means that the window will be 400 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. This is just the starting size, and you can change it later based on the needs of your application or the content inside the window. Finally, we start the event loop, which is crucial for making the app interactive. The event loop keeps the window open and listens for any actions the user takes, like clicks or typing. Without the event loop, the window would open and immediately close. The event loop ensures that the app remains active and responsive to what the user does. You've now set up the basics of your first tkinter app. From here, you can start adding more features and widgets to make the app interactive, like buttons, text fields, and more. You're well on your way to building more complex and exciting applications. At first, we created our window with a size of 400 by 200 pixels, which is a great starting point. Now, by changing the window size to 400 by 400, we're making it a bit bigger. When we do this, the window's height increases while the width stays the same. This shows us how easily we can change the size of the window with tkinter. In other words, as the content of our app grows, we can easily adjust the window size to fit it. After setting the window size to 400 by 400, let's add a label now. A label is a simple text element that we can use to display something to the user in our window, like a greeting message. For example, hello, Kinter. Now you might be wondering what root is in the code. Root refers to the main window we created earlier with root equals tk dot tk. You can think of it as the foundation or parent container for everything in your app. When we pass root as the first argument to the label, we're telling tkinter that we want the label to appear inside this main window. In other words, root is where all your widgets, like buttons, labels, and more, are placed and displayed. When adding the label, the second thing we need to do is add the text. In this example, we use hello tkinter. We can also adjust the font of the text, like choosing the Arial font and setting it to 16 point size or you can use different fonts and sizes to match your style. To place the label in the window, we use the pack method. This method automatically places the label inside the window. We can also add some padding space around it so the text doesn't stick to the edges and looks nice. In short, adding a label is really easy. You define the text, style it the way you like, and then add it to the window. It's a great way to show information to the user in your app. Let's add a button to our app. Buttons are great for letting users interact with the app. We create the button using the button widget, set its text to click me, and style it with the Arial font at 12 points. Just like with the label, we pass root as the first parameter to tell tkinner that the button should be placed inside our main window. Then we use pack to position it below the label with some padding. And just like that, we now have a button in our app. Now, let's give our button something to do when it's clicked. First, we'll create a function called onButtonClick. Inside this function, 
will update the label's text to say, button clicked. We can do this by using the config function, which lets us modify the properties of the label. For example, we can change the text parameter to whatever message we want. Finally, let's connect this function to the button using command equals on button click and run the app. Now, when we click the button, the label's text changes. Pretty cool, right? We first created the label and button widgets in the root window. However, in most applications, instead of placing everything directly in the root window, we define frames. Then we place our widgets inside these frames. Let me define a frame quickly. This frame will be inside the root window. I'll use the PaxFry method to add the frame to the root window. Now, instead of using the root window for the label and button, we can place them inside the frame. When the app runs, it may look the same, but the label and button are actually inside the frame, not the root window. To see this clearly, let's change the frame's background color. Now it's more obvious. Next, let's set some padding using Paddy and PadX. You can compare this to the previous setup. I'll also add the fill and expand options, which will allow the frame to expand and take more space in the window. You can compare this to the previous setup. I used pack uh, to place the label and button in the frame, but we could also use grid could instead. This allows us to specify the position of the widgets using rows and columns. Let me adjust the button using grid. We'll place the label and button on the same row side by side. To move the button down, I'll set its row value to one. By practicing, you can get the hang of positioning widgets the way you want. Now I'm going to create an entry widget inside the frame. I'll set its font size. I want this entry field to appear to the left of the button, so I'll position it using row and column values. I've added the entry to the frame. Now I'll arrange the entry and button on the top row and place the label on the bottom row. I can set the row numbers to make this work. Now uh, I want the text entered in the entry field to appear in the label when the button is clicked. In the on button click function, I'll get the value from the entry field using dot get and save it in a variable. Then I'll use this variable in the config function to update the label's text. Let's test it out. I'll type something into the entry field and when I click the button, the label will display the message. Creating applications with tkinner is that easy. If you want to learn more about tkinner, make sure to check out the tkinner playlist on the Turtle Code YouTube channel. I've left the links in the video description below. Thanks for watching and happy coding.